Bully fam, bully fam, what it do? TBK West back with another video, man. Y'all see it's nice and early, man. Gotta get the day started. Gotta clean up this garage, y'all. So let's get to it. And before we get started, man, let me give y'all some words of encouragement, man. Yeah, man, for all my new breeders out there, um, just stay positive. It will never be cool to not know, all right? It'll never be cool to be a dummy, you know what I'm saying? Always educate yourself, always perfect your craft, always study your craft, man. We all know when you try, when you put when you put some effort into something, you get blessed. That's facts, you know what I'm saying? So that's my words of encouragement for today's video. But that's enough of that, man. Let's move on to the day. Uh, what we gonna do today? We gonna breed landlord later today. Uh, who else? We got, that's, that'll be a six breeding. I'm gonna trim some of these branches out here in the front of the yard. And uh, yeah, man, let's just check out these dogs, man. We're gonna check out Maya, check out some puppies, whatever, man. So y'all stay tuned, man. Let's get it. I started down, but I always had a plan to find another way. Look at me now, I'm a hustling, living dream that I have to wear. Fam. So I got my handy dandy chainsaw extension. And I'm about to chop a couple of these branches off right here, man. It keeps falling on my driveway. You know what I'm saying? Making life difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and chop a few of these down real fast, man. Just the beginning of the day. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Nice chunk out of there. I'm gonna take one more chunk right there. You see that? Cut that bad boy right there. Throw this in the back of the truck real quick. about to go grab this dog food real fast y'all i'm like bone dry on dog food man i had to give my dog a, uh, a leg quarter just now to hold him just chop it up a little bit about uh proper business etiquette man all right proper business etiquette yes sir i'd say uh this is this is some of this is my opinion some of it is facts but uh you know what i'm saying Proper business etiquette, man. When somebody break bread with you, man, you want to show appreciation. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you got a dick ride or nothing like that, but you want to show some form of appreciation. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if that, you know, if that person spent about $20 with you. It don't matter if they spent a thousand with you. You know, that $20 could have could have went put some gas in your tank for you to go get your children. You know, that $20 could have put some food on your table to feed your kids. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be appreciative. You want to be thankful. You don't have any control uh, how or who, how people spend with you or who spends with you. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, got to keep them customers happy, man. You know what I'm saying? It's very important because, you know, like I said, you providing a service, uh, you want that person to spend with you again, man. And uh, let me give y'all a perfect example, man, because some people might not have a uh, business mentality, you might not understand, like they might just take this as money hungry, but uh, we talking business guys, so let's say uh, man, you got a, a customer who comes in and uh, your employee pissed the customer off. Show the customer that y'all don't appreciate their money, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever the case may be. But, you know, you piss the customer off, right? So. A boss, as a boss, um, you know, your employee might be like, man, they was wrong, fuck them. But as a boss, you gotta understand, man, like, uh, this person may have spent a dollar a day. That's $365 a year, you know what I mean? So, you just pissed off my customer, 
and uh, now he's never gonna spend money with me again. And I missed out on my 365 a year because you was having a bad day. You know what I mean? These, this is just a, to give y'all a better understanding on how and why you should appreciate your customers, man. Because you never know if they come back, they come back, bro. You know, they might bring their cousin, their auntie, tell their whole family. That's another reason why you don't want to piss, uh, I mean, not piss, but it's another reason why you want to show appreciation uh, for your customers, man. Because an unhappy customer is going to tell at least 10 people not to mess with you, not to spend with you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know it's true, man. You know what I'm saying? You drive past, you with your people, you drive past a restaurant. You gonna let everybody in the car know, hey, that shit nasty. Don't spend with them. You see what I'm saying? In this case, it might be, uh, you know, hey, I, I spent money with that dude. He shitted on me. He didn't appreciate me. You know what I'm saying? He treated me like it was whatever. So, yeah, don't spend with him. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all. Just want to give y'all a little, little one-two on the business appreciation, man. It goes a long way. You know what I mean? That person who spent with you did not have to spend with you, man. He could have spent with the other thousand people who sell what you sell or serve or uh, provide what you provide. You see what I'm saying? So that's what you also got to keep in mind, you know, for all the younger watchers who may not be able to relate to this type of uh, state of mind. You gotta keep that in mind, man. That dude just have to spend with you. The least you could do is be appreciative. You know, like I said, you don't have to say thank you to that person, but you know, show some type of public appreciation, man. You know, it's just, it's just a part of business, man. You know what I'm saying? If you say, hey, I ain't like that, I don't do that. how successful you are in business my brother you know because all this stuff boils down to the golden rule y'all the golden rule if you uh if you as long as you abide by this rule you will be successful in business man in any business i know this for a fact and the golden rule is treat others the way you would like to be treated man it's the golden rule fam as long as you don't violate that you're gonna be in business for a long time what it is man for everybody who's new to the channel just think that uh i'm just talking about something i seen on youtube been a business owner since 2003 buddy what's that 19 years yeah 19 years my guy so i think i might be able to add my two cents to this subject so that being said to this dog food, man. Y'all stay tuned to the next one, all right? Hold tight. All right, y'all. Just left uh, Costco, man. Oh, man. Trying this new one out right here. This is salmon and sweet potato. Yes, sir. Y'all know I always get the puppy, Kirkland puppy, but uh, we're going to mix this with it and see what it do my first time trying it y'all but yeah y'all stay tuned man we gonna get back to the crib all you dig <laughs> what up bro hey bully fam we out here as y'all can see we about to knock this next breed now we got landlord times coco coco come here let the people see yes sir look at that man man i gotta get a puppy off this one y'all man Bait. You know what I'm saying? Yes, bait on bait. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You already know this is going to be a crazy, crazy litter right here. So, uh, you know, the puppies ain't going to be cheap either. I know a lot of people say that, but look here, man. You can see what's going to be coming out of this litter right here, man. We're going to have color. We're going to have bone structure. And they're going to be low to the ground, man. So, yes, indeed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's my boy Young Star's other female for y'all that's just tapping in. Um, we bred to the last girl. I think her name is Bella, right? Yeah, we bred to Bella. And, uh, let's get it, man. All right. 
Y'all hang tight, man. All right, y'all, we're gonna knock this little reading out right here. We already pulled from landlord. So, let's see how short she is, man. Beautiful female right here, bro. Let's get it. Yes, sir. All right, bully fam, we outside, man. You see, I got the squad with me. Yes, sir. Man, I wish y'all could see these dudes in person. Like, this dude, TBK, is so swole. Like, this dude, man, I can't wait till he grow up, man. Y'all gonna see exactly what I'm talking about, bro. Straight up, man. Hey, she trying to F you want to drink that pool water so bad. You flirting with death. Don't do it. You seen Serena fall in there last time. Anyway, y'all, man, straight up, no cap, man. This is, man, beautiful set right here. This is a beautiful dog. If y'all could hear uh, Layla barking back there. She, man, I, I won't let her come out here just yet. She is getting big, by the way. I'm gonna show y'all her in a second, man. She is definitely getting bigger, but she is not. I mean, she possibly could come outside, but I ain't risking it. Look at Effie. Keep playing. Hey, get away from the edge. So y'all know, I've been letting Layla uh, sleep with TBK Youngboy since she's been here. So they like best friends. And that's probably why she barking, cause she like, man, where the homie at? Why you let them play and not me? I'm coming, I'm coming, hold on. Doing a video. But this dude, I mean, so I can't wait till this dude is up for stud, man, straight up because y'all see he a lilac trendle, man. So definitely a lilac. Yeah. He got some good pets, man. Straight up, but his thickness, man. Like, I'm gonna be so happy that this dude would be putting thickness on people's yards. He'll be putting bone and girth on people's yards, man. That's why I'm so happy about this dude. Produce here at the camp, that's what makes it. Y'all, look at that, man. Can y'all see that? Look how fat this dude is. Dude. Yeah, man, I can't wait until it's time to study him out so y'all can see what he does. Man. Um, we still sticking to the script. We still doing what we said we were gonna do, which is uh, we're gonna outsource for Effie. We're gonna outsource for Serena as far as uh, studs. And my boy TBK, I cannot wait until it's TBK's time to shine. I swear, it's man. It's gonna be, oh shit. Man, it's gonna be wonderful. Wonderful, fam. To see this little dude produce something. You guys have no idea how chunky he is. I see a couple of mosquitoes, y'all, so. What I can't risk is my little dude getting bit by a mosquito. All right, y'all, hold on, man. Let me go get some black seed oil real fast. Hold tight. All right, y'all, so what we got right here is some 100% pure organic black seed oil, y'all. Yes, sir. And this is what you want to put in your dog. This is mainly for, like, outside dogs if you want to, as far as topical. This is for outside dogs, man, because this stuff right here kills fleas. Kills fleas. They will not bite your dog no more. It's, it's also repels mosquitoes. So, and that's just a topical use. Um, and for internal use, if you put this in your dog food or if you actually just shoot some in their mouth, this stuff does wonders, man. This is, kills bacteria in their body. Um, it does all types of stuff. I'm gonna tell you how ancient this stuff is right here. As far as, uh, the pharaohs and the Egyptian dudes, you know, when they get dug up in their tombs, they have black seed oil in their tomb, man. You know, when they take the gold and everything with them to the afterlife and all that, 
they, had, they took some black seed oil with them. Yeah, black seed oil was in their tomb, so that's how old and ancient this is right here. And uh, it's also uh, in religious texts about um, religious prophets who would, you know, use this for many different things, y'all. So, yes, sir. Me right now, I'm about to use it for to slide down the back of these pups because I saw some mosquitoes, y'all. Like I said, it was warming up out here. This dude keep throwing up. Stop drinking so much water. Like I said, it's warming up out here, y'all. So when it warms up by my house, uh, you see I got all this water. And uh, we might get, we gotta get some mosquito action. So let me go ahead and put some of this on them real quick, y'all. Hold on. Hold up. Oh, and I got this from Amazon, by the way, y'all. Amazon.com. Let me put this on right quick, man. It's a nice, nice amount of mosquitoes right here. not cheap so you don't want to waste it come here young man so we got young tbk right here what you want to do is you just, just rub it down the back like so this is it does all types of stuff this makes their hair grow um you know it's it just the list it's a very long list of the helpful benefits of black seed oil y'all get a little bit more yes sir F E right here y'all oh it's hard to tell the difference they both swole Feet. All right, just the last one for Serena. Uh, smoothed it in. It didn't really discolor her coat. She, you know, she's a lilac, so black sea is brown. Oh, it also heals up cuts and scrapes. Look, man, so much stuff to do, man. But yes, sir. Now they good. They won't get bit by no mosquitoes i'm cool i need to rub some on my skin so i don't get bit up damn serena belly looking fat man i know you drunk a lot of water but you need to be dewormed huh yeah man so yes sir man this dude about to fall in the pool. Keep playing, man. Look at him. They want to test that water, huh? Okay. All right, so as y'all can see, this is Maya update. And you know what? I just came to the realization, y'all, that uh, Maya is not going to get any bigger, man. I've always assumed that she was going to get as big as her dad since she looked like him. But I think that Cardi put a nice little stub on her. She is super small and compact this is a true definition of a female uh this camera does no justice man she is really solid man in a real way no cap i'll take you all to see what i'm talking about exactly like lou ferrigno all muscle man and uh i do need to give her a bath but i do see some swelling back there y'all Sir, man, got about, about nine to ten months on this pup right here. My is the truth. She, she went, oh shit! You know that hurt. You trying? You gonna run that off? I seen Cardi uh, miscalculated that jump, but uh, I guess it didn't hurt. Yes, sir. This is a uh, mother and daughter, y'all. 
You know, I've been seriously thinking about uh, doing all types of stuff, y'all, but as far as with my studs, but we gonna stud out, man. We studding out with this female. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is. Yes, sir. Who? I don't know yet, man, but for those asking about the dual sire with her, uh, I would like to do the dual sire with my one of the males I have, but the issue is, is that both my males carry brindles, so I don't, I don't know if I could pull two two other dogs that are not mine together at the same time or get they semen together at the same time, so I don't know, y'all. I don't know if we're going to do that dual sire on this particular breeding. We can do that um, with um, Serena and Effie. You know, as far as this dog and Layla, uh, we definitely can't use the studs we have in-house at the moment, y'all. So, I mean, not that we can't, but we, we're not going to, so. Yeah. Yes, sir, man. All right, get away from that fence. Young Cardi, see where she got the compactness from. She got it from her mom. I'm just crazy. I'm super amazed that I honestly thought she was gonna be a lot bigger and chunkier. I mean, longer actually. And uh, not at all. It's chilling, but uh. Blood. We don't know if she, uh, I'm not sure what that is, y'all. We're gonna see, but may or may not be coming in. Get out the water. Get out the water. You know what? I never told y'all about Maya. She crazy with the water bowls, man. You gotta have her bowl elevated, connected to the side of the uh, kennel because. She loves knocking water bowls over, man. I don't know why she knocked all them down. She would just she would die of thirst from knocking the water bowls over. But yeah, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all for too much longer, man. Let me go ahead and own the house. Let's see what we got next, man. I y'all hold it tight, man. TBK West, let's get it. Yes, sir. Y'all see Layla Ali here looking real good. She look like she gonna be a stacker, man. Hey, hey, she had held that stance for a long time before she moved, y'all. As soon as I say something, she wanna move. Anyway, as y'all see, man, she looking real good, real chunky. Yes, sir, buddy. See, she got a little allergy irritant in her eye right there, man. Uh, I really just uh, been thinking, you know, been up in the air how I want to go about that. Uh, you know, we just got some Aquaprill. I think that's what it's called, Aquaprill. Yeah, that's like the number one dog antibiotic for allergies. Just picked some of that up yesterday, y'all. Had a crazy doggy day yesterday, man. So much dog stuff, I didn't even film it, man. But y'all you know, just, just know, man, if I miss a day or something, I'm dogged up, man, for real. I don't got no days off real for real but shit yeah, though y'all see her man y'all see her she getting chunky man uh yeah man it's just my favorite puppy right here we do have eye drops we got medicated eye drops for her eyes so we've been using that first before we get to any antibiotics but we do got the aqua prill aqua prill i think that's how you say it y'all yeah, was right apoquel apoquel so We've been using this uh, medicated eye solution right here. If y'all can see that. Dang, focus, bruh. Yeah, that's that medicated eye solution we've been using for that. That allergy irritation she got. Usually, y'all, um, based on my experience, when the female gets irritated eyes, 
it's either too dusty her bed her pillow that she lays on is filthy or disgustingly dirty or yeah basically that's it or some type of allergy so it's usually based around dust allergy dirty beds so we're using this eye solution man uh shit they say to use it for four to five days and the Apriquel, we got that brother we got 16 milligram pills but um those those are way too strong for a puppy you'd have to break it down like you do the uh disocline, doxycycline so uh yeah, if y'all didn't know, you're supposed to uh, chop the pill down to dust, you know, and then break it into, you know, fours or fives, depending on the dog's weight. But, yes, sir, man. Just giving y'all an update on my girl, Layla. Y'all see, she's still the truth, man. Stack up for him real quick before we go. Stack up one time for him. Go for them boys one time, man. Yes, sir. Look at that, man. I might screenshot that one. That's a picture perfect joint right there. All right, y'all. I just want to give y'all another up, quick up close look at this dude, TBK boy. This boy, Ghost, aka Caesar, is the truth. It's next up stud. This dude is no joke. Y'all take a closer look at him. Man, he is really gonna make his mark in his kennel. Y'all see how solid and wide he is? His 10 points is showing really good. Just saying, man, I had to give y'all a closer look at this dude. This dude is the truth. This is hands down our girthiest, shortest, fattest pup. Produced by us. We produced his mom and his dad. That's why we, uh, you know, Hold this dude up in such a high regard. That's why we look at him like this. As y'all see, this is an awesome, great finished product right here. TBK Young Boy, aka Ghost, aka Big Caesar, man. Look at this dude. Blue Sun Sun, man. Yes, sir. True, dude. True. All right, y'all, so this is the end of the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Oh, before I go, make sure y'all go give my boy a follow and a subscribe. That's uh, my man Devin over at BBK Bullies. Yes, sir, man. Shout out to my dude, Devin, man. Like I said, y'all give him a follow, give him a subscription, you know what I'm saying? Hit that notification bell. Uh, his Instagram is BBK Bullies. Y'all should see it on the screen here. Um, a good dude man family man you know just getting in the game he got a, a female named buttercup just like us so yes sir man y'all stay tuned man i can't wait to see what he gonna drop he got a crazy exotic glitter dropping so like i said man y'all y'all give my boy a like and subscribe you know what i'm saying if y'all get a puppy tell him tbk west sent you all right peace we out of here